Hey everybody, De really here. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of The Men of Yoshiwara Kikuya. We are still pursuing Iroha-san, and we are on chapter 13 in a dream. Um, this will be the end of his uh, first storyline. I'm not sure if we're going to get the regular ending or the super happy ending because we are now above 50% affinity. And I think when I got... Well, on too much to explain. You'll see. We'll see what it ends up being. So, <laughs> sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Though not that many days had passed, it felt like the happiness I felt when we were together was a dream. I really started to wonder if it was a dream. Misao, bring this parcel to the ship, please. Yes. I picked up the parcel that my mother asked me to bring and walked so as to not bump into anyone. Oh, when I saw a black-haired man with a long, slender body, my attention was grabbed. There's no way that he would be here, but... If I wanted to see him, I should go see him. Iroha-san won't come. That's our relationship. I thought many times that I would go to the Red Light District. I would endlessly remember the warmth of the person that I love. I fell into a terrible depression. Even though I want to meet him so badly, as I looked up into the rose-colored sky, I whispered that to myself. A day with such a beautiful sunset would probably look really good with Iroha-san's ogre form. Like nothing else in this world. So beautiful and enchanting. Speaking of the sunset, what's this time called? The time to meet the demon? And that's the time that it was. Suddenly something black appeared in front of my eyes and blocked the sunset. Would it be okay to imagine that he was me? I iroha san I thought that it might be an illusion. Perhaps it was a dream. I couldn't believe my own eyes, but it was the real thing. Iroha-san before my eyes was absolutely the real thing. Why are you here? I could get a glimpse of the sunset behind Iroha-san, the person who was smiling sadly. I just wanted to shout for him to hold me and tell him how much I missed him. Couldn't I be allowed to do this? It's not sad for you to ask me why I'm here. I just came to see you. Me? My heart felt so hot. However, this was immediately followed by a flash of anxiety. But, is it okay for you to come out here for no reason? It doesn't matter because I'm not a gentleman of the night. Knowing that it was not a problem, I breathed a sigh of relief. If you worried about me so much, why didn't you come to see me? That's because I have a situation. It isn't because you've come to hate me, haven't you? Of course not. As far as I can see, it doesn't look like you've ruined your health or anything either. For what reason have you distanced yourself from Kikuya? Why can't we tell him the truth, exactly? Nah. Uh, well, I guess the truth is closest... The truth line up there is closest to the truth, so... The truth is that I wanted to be next to you. The truth is that I wanted to be next to you, Iroha-san. If that's so, why didn't you come? The only place that I can exchange intimacies with you is Kikuya. Iroha-san looked down softly. His thick eyelashes made a very beautiful shadow. You didn't just abandon me, right? Huh? No, of course not. I'm sorry to have made you worry. My chest hurt. It felt like it would be torn apart. What should I do? The truth is that I can't think of anyone else. But Iroha-san, but... If you feel like that, then won't you come? Yes. That's a promise, right? Yes, I will definitely come tonight. That night when I arrived at Yoshiwara, the women opened the path and they were looking at one man. He was a courtesan and he fended off all of their glances as he walked with a confident gait. That's Takeo-san. A charming smile came across his face and he stole the glances of everyone that looked at him. That reminds me. When I first came to this place, Takeo was doing this. I was overwhelmed by the elegance and frenzy of it all. I felt something very fearsome about Takeo-san. Something nostalgic, like it was from the far past. At that time, my legs froze and I just stood there. Then I hurried off to arrive at Kikuya. Then... I met Iroha-san. What? What? Why am I crying? I believed that my single-night dream with Iroha-san would continue on forever. I selfishly believed that. Even though something like that is impossible. Even though there was no way something like that could be real. 
While crying, my feet took it upon themselves to advance forward the Kikuya. Hmm. Why are you crying? As I passed in front of Inari's shrine, he pulled on my shoulder and turned me around. T Tokiwa-san, what are you doing here? I just saw you and became worried. Now don't tell me that you've been moved to tears because Taki was so beautiful. I do not think that he's beautiful, and no, that's not it. I'm crying because, well, my eyes hurt a little. Oh, that sucks. I should inform iroha san yeah. T tokiwa san It's okay to cry when you're having a hard time, but it won't solve anything to try and hide it. Maybe you should see a doctor about your crying. Perhaps this is him feeling worried about me. When I thought he was only being crafty, it would seem that he's not... His friendly smile could, could now be seen as honestly happy. Tokiwa-san, you're so nice. Of course I am, because I'm Tokiwa-sama. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. Talk to me. I had wandered the streets. I couldn't tell anyone. I quietly opened my mouth. Oh, wow. I see. That may be a happy story. But for you, it's a difficult marriage proposal. Yes. I really don't know what to do. If I were in your position, I would probably take the man from the mainland. That's the answer that I expected. That's normal. A husband only for me. Someone who would always be by my side after we became husband and wife. But that partner wouldn't be Iroha-san. You finally just got together. Maybe you need more time to slowly think it over. Also, women are fairly strong in times like these. A lot of them have had bad habits of making decisions after taking on everything on their own. But what about you? I... I really had no idea. I guess that's pretty pathetic. When I instinctively tried to put my head down, Tokiwa-san laughed lightly. Well, take your time. It's okay to struggle at the last second. At this moment, I was grateful for that casual reply. I obediently nodded to Tokiwa-san's words, and then I warned him just to be sure. I'm going to say this to Iroha-san on my own. I'm going to tell him myself that I've made up my mind, so don't say anything. Got you. I love secrets, you know. But, well... With an expression that looked like he was up to something, Tokiwa-san stared at my face. If the manager chases after you... Maybe I'll be released from probation. Uh, really? Please don't tell anyone. <laughs> don't worry, it was a joke. He really is hard to get a grip on. Though I did feel a little worried, it's not like I regret talking to him. As soon as I entered the room, Iroha-san held me and lifted my body, then pushed me on top of the bed. Uh, um, aren't things moving pretty fast? Now that you mention it, yes, you're right. My crestfallen cheeks became flushed with red. This person... Why was he always so adorable? Mm. Let's kiss his chest. I'm not really asking you to stop, you know. It was embarrassing for me to make the first move, but I softly kissed Iroha-san's chest. Not through my clothing. I want you to really touch me. I was slowly undressed. Then Iroha-san kissed my exposed skin. Finally, I can do this with you. Transformed into an ogre, Iroha-san's hair shed off and he slowly enveloped my body. His red eyes that I could see through gaps between his hair were seductive. I could tell that he was very excited. Iroha-san touched my exposed skin with his fingers. <sighs> Iroha-san wasn't the only one who was excited. A sweet voice escaped my own lips and this let him know that I too was excited. You moan in an adorable voice. I am so embarrassed. Yes, it is embarrassing. Yuroha-san narrowed his eyes and smiled with pleasure. His smile was so seductive that it made my body shudder. Perhaps Yuroha-san noticed his reac this reaction of mine. He narrowed his eyes even more and then kissed me. His kiss was intensely ravenous. Huh. Huh. <sighs> I'm not sure if it was the sound of our tongues touching, but it sounded very embarrassing to me. Ah. As we exchanged kisses, Iroha-san's fingers attacked my body. My body naturally squirmed. 
Hirohasan. However, the further our actions went, the more that my head became clear today. Even if I knew in my head that he was sleeping with other women, I was terribly jealous when a baby appeared. But I wonder why. Conversely, what about another man that isn't Irohasan touching my body? That's a little different. But it's all so sad. It didn't make my stomach boil over. It didn't change the fact that it bothered me. But sadness occupied my heart at the same time. What are you thinking? He let out his sweet breath, and his questioning eyes were lovely. To touch you and be touched by you now, Irohasan, makes me so very happy. So much that I feel I don't want to be touched by anyone else. You, Irohasan, I love you. You're saying something strange. If someone other than me slept with you. His coarse breathing made the hair on my neck sway back and forth. I waited like this for Irohasan's words. I'll make that person disappear. He whispered in a low voice. I wonder why my body shuddered. Was it because I was happy or because I was terrified? Perhaps there was nothing in me but joy. Am I a bad girl? Why? I can't help but be happy at Irohasan's words. You're not the only one, because it's a happy thing to feel jealousy and be constrained by the person that you love. From gaps between his white hair, his glimmering red eyes shined mysteriously. Let's end this worthless conversation. You are a good girl. Iroha-san started to move his waist again. Before I knew it, he was attacking more intensely than before. What? What? I fell asleep? It was really intense tonight, so I guess I lost consciousness for a little. When I opened my eyes, Iroha-san was there next to me, with a serene expression on his face. It was only for a little while, but you slept so soundly with an adorable look on your face. As I awoke, my body was being held gently by Iroha-san. I feel embarrassed. Everything felt good. So much so I wanted to go back to sleep like that until morning. You're still in ogre form. Because it's been a long time since I've embraced you. I chuckled at his blaming and pouty tone. And on top of that, you said such mean things in the middle of our action. Mean? Didn't you talk about sleeping with other gentlemen of the night? That's a little different from what I said. Is that so? Didn't you ask me that question because you wanted to make me jealous? Huh? N no, not at all. Oh, really? Because that's how much I care about you. Iroha-san. I was contained perfectly in Iroha-san's chest. If we could have children, I might be able to convince my mother. If I could do that, then I would probably be able to stay with Iroha-san forever. I want to carry his child. So much. So much. Anyone but him just wouldn't do after all. The strength of those feelings gave me the reckless courage. Uh, um, can I ask you a question, Iroha-san? Go ahead. It makes me scared that you're leading into it like this, though. Even now, you still don't want children? His crimson-colored eyes opened wide. Why are you asking me something like that? Oni, you're human. Everyone wants a child. That's what I was thinking. Perhaps because he was lost as to how to answer, Iroha-san averted his eyes. Even after waiting for a while, he didn't reply. I I'm sorry. I asked you something strange. I guess it really was an uncomfortable question. Forget about it. No, because I think it's important. This place is definitely for making children. And I understand you would have these feelings. And even I myself. Iroha-san... What could he be trying to say? I want to see me chi want to see Misao's child. I also think that I'm a man, so I have that instinct. Iroha-san. More than anything, I only realized that feeling just recently. But, but even if I have those feelings to think that I don't want my own, what's happening? Iroha-san tried Iroha-san smiled trying to hide his pain. No, it doesn't have to be like that. It was painful to look at his face like that, and I instantly felt regretful. Even someone like him is thinking that he might want to marry a normal woman and have children. And yet, because of his blood, that can't happen. It must have been a hard question. I'm not saying that I want to have children right away. Just that someday, if necessary, I'll have your baby in secret.
Good night, Irahasan. So that I couldn't see his expression, I nestled myself in Irahasan's arms and slept for the day. And now for the last chapter, the wedding. And I'm not sure. We'll we'll see after this whether it was the super happy ending or the regular happy ending. I have the feeling it's going to be the super happy ending, but we'll see. So last chapter, the wedding. I could hear the light breathing sound of the person sleeping next to me. Perhaps Yoroha-san was sleeping soundly and dreaming. I hope he's having a happy dream. As I wished so, I combed my fingers into his black shiny hair. Yoroha-san. When we're making love, he looks like pure white silk. It's strange that both his forms are beautiful. I combed his hair in my hand with great care over and over. I have to give it up. The time to view one night's dream is already coming to an end. It's only natural to someday wake up from a dream. Thinking back, what brought me to Kikuya was also like a dream. Even though so many things happened, I was able to have a very happy dream. Iroha-san, thank you so much. I kissed Iroha-san's cheek and lied down on the bed again. I laid there like that until dawn. The whole time I never got tired of looking at Iroha-san's sleeping face. I don't have the confidence to leave him like I usually do. And so, I quietly exited the room and tried to leave without saying goodbye to anyone. Are you okay with this? Uh, he must have been hiding in the corner. I didn't notice until he called me. Tokiwa-san, why? I wonder if you've been waiting for me the whole time. Come on, I don't have that much free time. But, well... What is it? I'm just worried about you. You should at least say goodbye, shouldn't you? For both of you. Tokiwa-san, I, I guess you really are... What? A kind person. I guess. I'm sorry, but I really don't think I have the confidence to give a proper goodbye. Everyone's the same. It's so much fun to welcome someone. But nobody likes having to say goodbye. You have to, though. I know that. It goes without saying, but... Iroha-san might wake up while I'm here talking to Tokiwa-san. When I thought that, I felt pressed to leave. Sorry, please excuse me. As I left the hallway, I felt Tokiwa-san's gaze painfully piercing into my back. A few days have passed since I came back home. I returned to the life that I had when I didn't know of Kikuya. The only thing that's different is that I'm helping my mother and waiting for the day when my future husband will arrive. This is my own decision as your mother. But you're okay to take a husband, aren't you? Why are you asking me this all of a sudden? She sat on her knees as soon as she entered my room, so I wondered what she was going to say. I stared at my mother's face. You don't look happy these days. I'm worried about you. Yeah, I guess you're right. Was it that obvious from my face? I tried to act bravely. Do you not want this? A little. Well, it's just that I'll have to live with a man for the rest of my life, right? I've been worried about losing the life that I've had up until now. I see. Never mind what I said. It's all right to believe that you agree, right? My heart ached. I tried to prevent my voice from trembling. I tried to prevent the tears that I held back from flowing out. I tried my best to endure. I'm the daughter of a shipping agent, so how could I refuse such an offer? I said that to ease my mother's worries. That's right. There was nothing false in those words. And just then... That's not good. I already quit Kikuya, so that will make me homeless. It was the voice that I heard so many times in my dreams. My body shook gently. Are you saying that I should start begging? Somewhere in this calm tone, he sounds like he's still teasing me. I forced my trembling body to turn around, and there we was. Iroha-san. A long time no see. Iroha-san. Yes, how can I help you, miss? Every time I call his name, he responds politely. But something in his face seems upset. Why are you here? You're the one who's banished from my sight. No? That's why I came here like this. You can't just show up like this. And what's more, you quit? As the conversation progressed, I began to understand how serious things were. 
Would you be the mother of Misao-san? Yura Hasan just smiled at me and never answered my questions. Instead, in front of my mother, who was at a loss for words, due to surprise, he sat on his knees and stared at me. His beautifully smooth movements fascinated me. I'll never get tired of the person's beauty. It is a pleasure to meet you. My name is Iroha. He politely placed both his hands on the ground and lowered his head deeply. Have I ever seen him lowering his head to someone like this? Uh, um, well, I... Hi. Following Iroha-san, my mother rushed to lower her head as well. Well, I apologize for my unexpected visit. May I be... Misao-san's husband? Huh? Before my mother could say anything, I grabbed Iroha-san's shoulder. No, you can't do that! Why? Because haven't you been taking such good care of Kikuya? Of course. I still care about Kikuya. That's my home. Then why? Iroha-san's smile vanished, and after directing his eyes at me, he talked to me in a persuading tone. I realized that Misao-san is much more important than my home. When I thought that I had no choice between home and Misao, Iroha-san took my hands and held them tightly. His hands were so warm, I could feel his heart through them. The only choice ahead of me was Misao-san. Iroha-san! I became overwhelmed by the unanticipated event. Tears came gushing out. Who would give someone as precious as you to another man? You're so childish. Iroha-san wiped away the tears that flowed down my face. Misao. I was pulled in by Iroha-san's gentle voice and tried to leap into his chest. Then, from the side, I heard the abrupt sound of a voice that stopped me from doing that. This may be your touching reunion, but I will not allow it. My mother glared at Iroha-san and turned her gaze to me. Is this man Misao's gentleman? Yes. Iroha-san straightened his posture and then bowed. Please, accept me as your son-in-law. I would be so happy if it were possible. Mother, please, I'm begging you. Taken by four eyes, my mother let out a sigh. I can't agree with that, Susun. But, well, it's okay to consider him as a candidate. And that's what happened. The groom who came all the way from across the sea ended up going back. Such a pity. It's been two weeks since I started living together with Iroha-san. We stay in separate rooms, and we're not allowed to be alone together, but Iroha-san seems so alive. Misao, that man must have been... Misao, that man must have been born to be a shipping agent, don't you think so? <laughs> Mother, you flatter him too much. He's a manager, so he's skilled at seeing everything in the round. Seems like you have a good eye for men, just like me. Does that mean that you've accepted him a little? Well, I suppose so. You seem to be doing as I told you and haven't been seeing him. That's because of Iroha-san. It's probably something left over from Yoshiwara. When I suggested for us to meet alone just for a bit, he said he couldn't because he had made an agreement. <laughs> what a strange man. He may be serious to the core. Perhaps. Well then, can you please send this package to Kikuya? Okay, the usual shop? That's right, but since it's a big package, it's better if you both go. Mother, yes. She finally gave us permission to go out together. I tried to calm my excited heart. I was so excited, so I held the luggage tighter to make sure I didn't make a careless mistake. I thought that I would never return, but... They are one of our regular customers. So it's nice that we can check in while running an errand like this. Even so, Iroha-san, aren't you worrying too much for just one errand? There are many temptations in a place like this so you definitely need to be accompanied. You're the only person in my eyes, Iroha-san. I noticed there were cherry blossoms in front of us. What beautiful cherry trees. Looking at these cherry trees makes me feel like I'm in a dream. I spread my arms out and let the cherry blossoms shower my entire body. Misao, you're the one that's beautiful. He put his hands on my shoulders and then turned my body around. I never dreamed that I would face you with peaceful feelings like this. We kissed so many times in that place called Kikuya. He knelt forward, and I could feel his breath on me. Yes. You put me in a dreamlike state so many times. They were melting sweet dreams. 
before I even had a chance to nod in agreement. Yoroha-san started kissing me. I felt an intense, sweet throbbing, like there's many times we did it in Kikuya. A dream that only he could give me. <laughs> Yoroha-san's laugh surprised me and I opened my eyes. And when I did, I saw that he had transformed into his ogre form. It's getting noisy around here. Why don't we run away into Kikuya? I nodded with all my strength and entered Kikuya. That night, he pushed my body down to the floor. Hiroha-san kissed me over and over again. Looking down on me, his eyes were seductive, and his charm filled the air. It was all too beautiful, so it made me shudder. But I don't usually react like this. <sighs> Perhaps because he touched me fiercely, and I started to breathe faster. I have good news. Good news? Your mother said I can officially be your husband. That's what she told me. Huh? She accepted? Yes. She said to come be Misao's husband. Just imagining you in a wedding dress makes me excited. I can't wait. I'm happy. I never thought that this day would really come. Someone like me. She accepted me even as an ogre. She is a great woman. But there is one more problem. That's right. If I don't have a child, there will be no heir to the shipping agent business. I was prepared for this when I asked to be your husband, Misao. Well, so... We are official. I will be able to satisfy your everything. Iroha-san brought my knee up and started to caress my thigh. In front of him, he directed his eyes to my private place where we could be tied together as one. It's the first time that I thought I'd like to soil a woman with my own desires. Just Iroha-san looking down on me with his seductive smile made my body begin to want him. Feeling the same way, Iroha-san immediately pierced my body. A tingling pleasure ran throughout my body and made me lift my waist. Ah, <sighs> these feelings couldn't be formed into words. I clung onto Iroha-san's arm, like it was our first night. I was nervous and overcome with emotion. I couldn't help but laugh a little, because Iroha-san's words took the energy out of my body. Even he gets nervous. Misao, I love you. A little sweat started to form on my back, and I felt Iroha-san's heat. His white body made a full pattern, and this was painfully burned into my eyes. His body also became painfully hot. I didn't know what was going on. I could only feel him. I continued to accept his wedge, and it was on this blissful night that in the truest of meanings I was able to have him. Achievement unlocked Iroha-san's super happy ending. Okay, so yes, that was the super happy ending. And in the next video, we will tackle the regular ending and his sequel and his date scenario. So, please come back for that. I hope to see you in some of my other future videos, too. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.